Just take a moment to press your palms together. Allow your feet to press into the earth. Feel the support of the earth. Take one deep breath, allow yourself to arrive, plugging in, soft knees, soft shoulders, soft face. And go ahead and inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, expand nice and wide, start to hinge forward from the hips. Go ahead and let yourself touch the earth. Tuck the chin to the chest. Nod the head yes. And no. Inhale, draw that energy all the way up. Gather the arms overhead. Left hand presses into right. Right hand presses into left. Feel that energy as you bring it down to heart center. Set an intention for yourself today. And continuing on from here, inhale. Open wide, exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. Shake the head yes and no. Inhale, halfway lift. Show this from the side now. Halfway lift, flat back, look towards the horizon. Exhale, touch the earth. Inhale, step your right foot back. Drop the right knee. Arms rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Reach your right elbow across to your left knee. Breathe here. Looking towards your thumbs, let your thumbs point towards the heart. Keep your back elbow dropping down. Return to center. Hands frame that left foot, step back to plank. Rock forward, rock back. Rock side, and rock to the other side. Drop both knees, dip your belly down, arms stay engaged. Lower your chest to the mat, come through onto your belly. Rest with your forehead down for a breath. Exhale, plug your toes into the mat. Press into the hands, cobra pose as you come up. Think about slithering through your heart forward. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, push back up, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, lift the knees, bent knee down dog. Reach the heels towards the earth, bend a little into the knees to awaken the lower back. Relax the head, shake it out a little bit. And then inhale, looking to the hands, baby steps to the top of your mat. Inhale, drop your hips here, bring your hands to the heart, chair pose, Utkatasana. Shoulders down, plug into the earth, energy tall through the crown. Inhale, rise to neutral. Take your arms all the way up. You can separate them if you'd like. And lift the heart. Exhale, bring your hands down by the sides and pause at the heart. Take a moment here to just notice where you are in this moment. And then begin again. Inhale, rise. Exhale, folding forward, touching the earth. Inhale, half lift. Keep a slight bend in the knees if you'd like, or going for those straight legs, flat back. Exhale, left leg lunges back. Keep the toes curled under as you drop that left, left knee, press up. Arms reach overhead, shoulders soft. Palms come together as you exhale, bringing the left elbow across to the right knee. Point the thumbs towards the heart or the armpit. Drop that right shoulder, right elbow. Breathe here. Notice from the arch of your foot through your inner thigh, there's a connection here into the pelvic core muscles all the way up through the crown of the head. Stay strong, pressing down through this right knee. 
Come back to center, hands bring the right foot, step back to plank. Go ahead in your plank, rock forward, rock back, rock side to side. Drop the knees, belly dips, lower back opening, elbows bend, drop your chest sliding forward, coming onto your belly. Relax your hands and your head down for a breath. Inhale, rise, lift the head. Slither forward through the chest, strong shoulders, toes into the mat. As you exhale, keep that length lower, breathe in. Exhale, press up, come back into child's pose. Taking one or two more breaths here, wiggle around, make sure it feels good in your body to just be here. Plugging into the earth through the third eye. Inhale, come forward, curl the toes under, bent knee down dog. Get springy in the bottoms of the feet and bring your rib cage towards your thighs. Make sure the head, the neck is relaxed and then straightening the legs as you're ready if you need to wiggle them back a little bit. Draw the heels towards the earth. And as you inhale, look forward, start walking your feet forward between the hands, hinging a little bit here, starting to drop the hips, preparing for chair pose, start to lift your upper body up, hands at the heart. Go ahead and if you'd like, place opposite hand on opposite elbow, and imagine your arms resting on something as you drop your tailbone down, start to feel an engagement of those thigh muscles upwards, hugging around the bone. And then reaching those arms up high, open back here, lift the heart, inhale, hands down to the heart. Pausing again, take a few moments to just be in your breath, to be in your body, Perhaps a breath of gratitude, a sigh out through the mouth, releasing anything that isn't serving you back through your feet and envision it going back to the center of the earth. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, bow forward. Release, touch the earth. Inhale, half lift, that flat back. Exhale, right leg back, this time coming for a high lunge, pressing up. Go ahead and reach the arms around behind and hold opposite elbow. As you're ready, shift your gaze slowly up overhead. Imagine the sky, the clouds, shoulders release, heart is expanding. And then as you're ready, straighten your front leg, begin to straighten the arms and then begin to Flatten your back foot, heel, pyramid pose. You can hinge forward, engage the triceps here. Maybe wiggle the fingers, palms energized towards the sky. Keep a micro bend in that left knee as you're ready. Dive down fully here, hands to the ground or blocks, and head starts to fall towards the knee. Maintain that micro bend and take some breaths here. One more nice deep breath. Just notice any adjustments you might need to make. Then begin to bend the left knee. I need to scooch my right foot back a little bit usually. Keeping that right hand down opposite the left foot. Place your left hand on your left knee. And feel a twist here. Start to look back. Option to take that left arm high, reaching towards the sky. Reaching it back if you'd like. And then folding it at the lower back and looking a little deeper if it's available to you today. With the next breath, release that hand, step back, plank pose. Lift your right leg, high plank, little extra challenge, you don't have to do this part, optional. Drop that right foot, drop the knees, release the belly and chest, slide forward, breathe and prepare for cobra. Exhale, rise. 
Imagine slithering forward. Keep the length as you lower. Press back up. Find your bent knee down dog. Feeling it out, honor your body. Take whatever feels good to you. Right leg reaches here. Bend the right knee and stack. Open the hips if you would like. Otherwise, just maintain a dog, downward dog. As you're ready, exhale, lunge this right foot all the way forward. Keep the left hand down, right hand to the right knee. Go ahead and release that right arm up if you'd like, reaching it back. Eye muscles engaged here. Fold that right arm around the small of the back. And then release both hands down. Step the left foot forward on your exhale. Fold deep. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, arms rise here towards the sky. Otherwise, like we did earlier, or you can always have hands at the heart. Inhale, draw it up. Take a little back bend. Bring the hands back through heart center. Pause for a couple of breaths. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhaling, left foot lunges back. High lunge, press into that right foot. As you rise, bring your arms behind. Try to grab a different way than you did last time. Allow your gaze to reach up to the sky as you keep your right knee stacked over the right ankle. As you're ready here, releasing those arms back. Pyramid pose, straightening the front leg, flattening the back heel. You may need to adjust a little wider, a little more forward. And as you bend forward from your hips, shoulders reach away from the ears. Exhale, drop the hands, framing that front foot if it's available. Otherwise, blocks under the hands. Micro bend the front knee. right knee as you're ready bring your hands back to heart center and twist across so left elbow right knee sliding that back foot back a little bit dropping that right elbow feel that nice twist engage through the back leg for strength strong back to center hands frame the right foot step back plank pose Lift that left leg for a little extra challenge. Rolling onto the toe, perhaps. Drop both feet, drop both knees. Relax your belly. Point your sits bones up and lower yourself through to the belly. Relax the forehead down to the mat. Exhale, cobra, shoulders down. And as you release, exhale, press up and all the way back. Child's pose. Inhale, <clears throat> bent knee down dog. Straightening and dropping those heels towards the earth. Lifting that left leg, lower the right heel. Bend the left knee and stack open the hips. Look under the left armpit. Try to keep that right foot pointing forward. As you're ready to exhale, draw that foot all the way forward. Keep your right hand down. Take your left arm to the sky. Draw the arm back, fold it around. Inhale, release as you exhale. And that back foot steps forward to meet the front. Exhale. Coming up slowly for our last chair pose here. Bring 
bring your hands to heart center as you plug your feet into the earth, drop the tailbone, lift the crown. Exhale, rise. Take an inhale, you exhale, drop the shoulders, let the body press forward. And then inhale back to neutral. As you exhale, find that heart center. Step your feet a little wider. And just take a moment to breathe in and out. And then lift your feet about hip distance apart. You're gonna go ahead and come down into a squat position. So bending your knees, keep your center of gravity back and come down. This is where you might place a roll underneath your heels, a blanket or a roll mat. Otherwise, just being here with your arms on the inside of your knees. Taking a few breaths, maybe close the eyes and connect with the earth, feel support, feel that energy from the feet and lift up through the top of the head. Feel the pelvic floor muscles activated, aware. And then slowly release both hands Come forward onto all fours. Take a moment with your cow and cat. And just allow this to be organic. Exhaling, draw your chin to the chest, allow your head to hang heavy. Maybe soften onto the tops of the feet. Maybe even come up onto the claws or paws. Sink back down, curl the toes under. Lift the chin, pull the shoulders back. Feel an opening through the throat and the chest. As you return to neutral, go ahead and lean your hips to the left and look over your right shoulder. Have your right arm be straight. Just feel a nice gaze back at the right ankle. A couple of deep breaths here, and then return to center, taking it to the other side, hips to the right, gaze back over the left shoulder. Let your chest be reaching forward. Belly is soft. Widen your knees out here, relax the tops of the feet, and bring your sitting bones down towards your heels. Coming into that extended child's pose, let your elbows drop, forehead drop, and then place the palms together and tip them towards the back of your skull. Resting and breathing here, five breaths, really sink in. Allow yourself to have moment to moment awareness as you spend one or two more breaths in your child's pose. And then slowly making your way up, bring the knees together and then roll over onto your back. Coming down, utilizing your strong core, place your hands on your knees and slowly draw yourself all the way down onto the shoulders Head and neck relax. Place your feet wide at the edges of the mat and let the knees come to center. Just take a moment to circle out the wrists. Allow your sacrum to be heavy and supported. Change your direction of your circling. You might do your arms up if you'd like. And then bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug, rock side to side. Maybe as your knees go to one side, your head goes to the other. Coordinate this with your breath. Go ahead and cross your knees. I just put the left knee on top. So this is a shoelace pose. And you're going ahead and letting the knees stack as much as you can and then just pulling this all in without straining the shoulders. So you might have to slide your hands lower. They might need to stay closer, but feeling this on the outer thighs. 
Listen for that ocean breath maybe, or maybe just a more natural breathing rhythm, smooth inhales and exhales. Upper back softening even though we have a hold, so just be mindful. As you release the arms out into a T position, let your right foot land on the ground. Pick up and shift your hips over to the left. Allow yourself to drop into a twist. Knees are falling down to the right. You don't have to come all the way to the ground, or you could put a rolled blanket or bolster or block underneath your knees here. Feel free to change the shape of your arms if you want something more. Left arm bends and goes a little higher. If you have any injuries or that arm isn't coming down to the ground, then definitely stick a prop under the knees. Enjoy your twist. Unwinding, anything unwanted, and visualizing it going back to the center of the earth. Return your gaze upwards to neutral. Use your core awareness to bring your knees carefully back to center, shifting, unwinding the legs. Take a moment in constructive rest pose, just letting the knees rest, breathe and celebrate the curves of the spine. And then bringing that right knee in front for our shoelace on the other side. So right knee is on top or closest to the chest, left knee is stacked and it may be different on this side so tune in, connect with your breath. Notice the back of the head, the neck, the shoulders. Nice cool inhales through the nostrils, smoothing out any stuckness, any tendencies to hold. And allowing as much of the back to connect with the ground, feel supported. When you're ready here, releasing that left foot to the ground, you can place those arms out in the T position again, and then shifting the hips up a little bit and over onto your left hip so you can drop the knee to the left. Just shift your hips to the right, that is, to allow the knees to drop to the left. Stay open to a new experience on this side. Maybe something different is showing up. Lengthen your breath through the entire spine. Check in with the hands. Maybe this right arm wants to bend, cactus arm. Maybe this arm wants to go lower, palm up or palm down. This is your preference. Maybe looking away from the knee. Notice your breath fills and empties naturally, no judgment at all. And returning back to center, as you're ready, squeeze the inner thighs together a little bit and engage your core to return to center. Unwind, allow your hands to rest on your body here as the knees come to center, have the feet about mat distance or maybe even a little wider. And you could rest here or you could move into legs up the wall where you would bring a bolster or roll up mat and bring your hips below your feet. So try to have a blanket. I'm just gonna demonstrate this here, but you would have a blanket underneath your lower back or a rolled mat. your breath. Take your time and rest here in your legs up the wall or in your corpse pose or with a bolster under your knees. Or maybe your legs are up on a couch or a chair. 
choosing any of those options, taking this rest, this time to integrate and assimilate. And resting here as long as you need. 